Levine, I also am not an elected official. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy who cares a lot. Some would say too much. An aggressive progressive. I think you'll find I am a lot like you. We turn on the television, what do we see? We see a dysfunctional Congress. We see the American dream slipping away. We see vicious Republican attacks on working people and on women and on immigrants. And we find every week there's some mentally ill young man who found it really easy to get a gun and mow down people at a mall. And we know that it has to stop. And there are people who see that on the news and they turn off the TV disgusted. But the people in this room, we do something about it. And what I've done, you know, I, it's not about money. <laughs> I, I made a lot of money in the 90s. I was a trial lawyer. I went to highfalutin school. And my happiest moments were the things I did that I wasn't paid for. You know, a ragtag band of us, four of us, we founded Marriage Equality California. When no gay couple in the world could get married, we founded this ragtag organization, and we began the February 14th protest. And just today, the Attorney General of the United States has announced that in every state of the United States, the federal government will recognize gay couples' marriage. Yeah. So I know just that we a few hours ago. that weren't even contemplated. I wrote legislation to protect victims of domestic violence and their children. Got unanimously passed by Democrats and Republicans, and I did it as a citizen. I didn't do it as a legislature. And when the Supreme Court declared in 2000 that they were going to decide who the president was and they were going to throw away our votes, I saw Code Red, and I came 3,000 miles across the country, quit my job as a trial lawyer, and I wrote the brief for the Congressional Black Caucus challenging the Florida electors. I was hired by Congressman Barney Frank, and those of you that know him know that there's no greater progressive voice. Well, there's lots of good progressive voices. He's one of the best, the best of the generation. He was my mentor. He's the one who taught me constituent services. You're going to hear more about that next month because my time is running out. But I've spent the last 10 years fighting what is the, our greatest challenges, right-wing propaganda. And that's why I've gone on Fox News and I pull out my constitution and I read it to Bill O'Reilly, who doesn't seem to know about things like general welfare or equal protection or a well-regulated militia. And I gotta tell you, we can reclaim the American dream. There used to be a time, we know, a generation ago, when kids could pay for college by just working. Not anymore, right? They're drowning in debt. They come home, there are no jobs, they live with their parents. You know why? The government used to subsidize student loans. Today, students, subsidize the government. They subsidize corporations. That has to stop. And federal workers, they're always getting the shaft, right? They used to be respected. Now they're insulted. They're furloughed. They're sequestered. Military veterans, they cut their pensions. Now what Democrats voted for that? And the elderly, the retired, we don't have pensions anymore, right? All we have is Social Security and Medicare. And they're talking about cutting that too. And we are going to put a stop to it. So if you would give me the honor of electing me to Congress, I promise you, I'm not going to be one voice in 435. I have a very loud voice. And I think that we can change the dynamic of what they're talking about, and that's what I want to do in Congress. Thank you for your time.